about Ghost Mrs. Hey, little guy. This guy will not stay here. He keeps running off. Oh, he just did a backward jump. Ah, see, I love when they do the backward jumps. It makes me think they're doing little backflips. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I, before we start to, and before I teach you guys about these cutie pies, ah, little guy, just stay there. Um, I am going to tell you guys something. I am participating in Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks scavenger hunt. And the question of this video is, uh, how old was I when I be when I caught my first mantis? So that is going to be the um <laughs> the question for this. Now let's learn about these cutie pies. So there is something very special about this little girl. Little girl. So her name is Sage. And um, she, when she was mating, had this happen to her. A male, for some reason, was trying to eat her top wings. I have no idea why. But, for some reason, it just did. He took her out right then and immediately. Though she did luckily mate. But no way am I ever going to put her back in with males. Not after that accident. So, then, how about we move from the oldest to the youngest? So, I have a container right here. Um, she turned adult in at 12, 18, 19. So, that was before New Year's Day. Back in 2019, and she mated the first month of 2020. But she's a little special girl. She actually lets me pat, pet her. Oh, <laughs> looks like she's a little flying today. <laughs> she literally just lets it off my hand right here, down to there. So they can only glide, they cannot fly. Here, girl, come on. That way, girl. No, no, no. Ugh, seriously, girl. So, I finally got her off my hand. And just to remind everybody, um, I am participating in the Rocky Mountain Spider Freak Scavenger Hunt. And, and the question is, what age was I when I caught my first prey mantis? So, then... So, at the end of the video, I will be announcing the answer to the question. Now, let's look at this cutie pie's ooth. See? I actually took that stick out of her enclosure. This can lay 20 to 100 um, babies in one ooth, but we only get 20 to 50. Then she has her baby right here. He will not stay on the stage. Here. Where are you, bro? Okay. Here, let me little grab the cutie pie. Come boy. I have to make sure I keep close eye on all of them because if they see each other and get too close, they will cannibalize. Come on. Ugh, the cutie pie will not stay. So this cutie pie and this cutie pie both eat the same thing. Even though they eat each other, they eat fruit flies in captivity. Here, let me place him in with the other guys. Come on, boy. There we go. He's right there. Don't you guys see? Okay, now, I have a fruit fly container right here for us to feed him. So it's tipped up like this because I just newly got it. Let me untape it. Here we go. Let me just throw this tape away. Okay, time to feed him the fruit flies. 
Okay. Um. So we have to open this more. Nope. Boil. Get back down. Get back down. Oh, can you two boil? It's still boiling. You know, making sure they don't get out. Here, let me just do it a little bit more. Here we go. Are you guys ready? No. Okay. Good, now we, as fast as we can, we have to do this. But I'll open it, but I'll keep it open for just a little bit to see if you guys will be able to see them eating. Hmm. Looks like none of them are really hungry right now. But I will spray them. There we go. <laughs> Let me zip them up. They actually drink that water. Let me try and... Give this cutie pie some water, okay? Here we go. Look, she's drinking. Isn't this cute? Oh, I can, I'm starting to feel the books. Here, let's change to this. <laughs> See? Isn't that cool? Oh, look! He actually moved. <laughs> I thought he was going to want to stay on the branch. Let's put him back in with his fellow buddies. So I also have their container down here. Um, here, it looks like I'm going to have to put him back. Because this is a big container. Let me see, point to facing you guys so you guys can see it. Let me get this cutie pie. Now let's put back in with the friends. Here we go. Don't you see him? He's right there. Now, time to feed them the fruit flies. Now, I'm not going to open it up all the way this time, because this has a bigger roof. Okay. Oh, well, are you guys ready? One, two, three! There we go. Now, you guys can look through here while I zip the top. Now, I'm sure if the fruit flies get high... Oh! One, one guy just tried to attack one right there. <laughs> These guys are pretty cool, aren't they? Oh, the fruit flies are starting to come up. Oh, there's one guy and you're getting ready to escape right here. Let me get him back down. That guy just got, got one! See, he has a little thing in between his thing. Oh, I think this guy's about to get one. Look. Right there. I know he's going to get one. Yeah, look. He's ready to pounce. Oh, do you guys just see that? He literally just ate one. <laughs> it's pretty hard to see them because most of them do not do that in front of people so that's pretty rare to find <laughs> so these guys also can eat houseflies and sorry about that noise it's my bearded dragon dash <laughs> he's going crazy because he sees all the noises and he hasn't had his food his breakfast yet <laughs> okay so i put the nymphs away but do you guys know how they transform from that itty bitty 
to this size, they actually become smaller. You know this itty bitty golden ants that you see around? That is how small they are and what they look like. You just have to look for differences, which are very hard to see. So, I'm gonna be, but I put her away, so I'm gonna get, they actually shed their skin. I have a shed, not from these guys because it's hard to get to molds, but from my hair do less. Look, they shed their whole body. Their eyes, their antenna, their arms, their legs, their, their abdomen, their thorax. It's amazing. So I think it's time to feed her horse species of fly. So horse species of fly is house fly. For, um, blue bottle flies. Here, let me try and get this little guy out. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. There we go. Let's try and get him to go to her. Yes! Direct hit! Don't you see her munching? That's a pretty awesome thing. I have a second fly. You're ready for her to eat when she's done with that one. And if they're really hungry, they can finish it in probably a few seconds. See, she's already walking on the head, which is a very soft spot right now because he's not fully developed. So it's where she'll get the most juices. <laughs> so don't you see those little mandibles? They actually have three body parts. The head, thorax, abdomen. Then they have joints and legs, compound eyes, and cute little antenna. So on her, it's hard to see the antenna, but you, and it probably doesn't catch on camera, but if you look closely um, on any mantis you catch, you can kind of see like barely Especially on these ghost mantises. If you look from the side, though, you can see them. And see these little spikes on uh, their raptorial arms, their front legs? Um, those actually hold the flies in place. So, I'm going to feed her sec her second one. Come on, girl. Yeah, yeah. Direct hit. <laughs> I love watching a meat because you can see those mandibles walking. <laughs> it's really cool. They, I usually feed them three, three to five a day. Um, and I feed them every other day. <laughs> and the answer to the quest to the Rocky Mountain scavenger hunt is I was five when I caught my first insect. So, um, I didn't have anything except my coin purse, and the other kids were trying to stomp on her. So, I saved her, and my teacher helped me put her in a Ziploc. So, I brought her home, and me and my parents made, tried to make an enclosure for her, but sadly, she had already lived out her lifespan and died soon after I put her in. And I wish I could have kept her, but she was the first insect I ever caught. Um, so, while she's eating, I just want to thank Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks for letting me do the scavenger hunt. And just to remind you, the answer was when I was five, when I caught my first prey mantis. So, please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching. <laughs> Bug out!